Howdy y'all, this week I'm looking at the Xbox 360. HD DVD drive. Back during this generation of consoles, there was actually a format war going on. That format war was really one of the last format wars, and Fami has actually a really good video about what that war was specifically, but it was basically between Blu-ray and uh, HD DVD. A oh, good old case of red versus blue on a 360, no less. But the Xbox 360 never was able to play Blu-rays, only HD DVDs. And actually, even the Xbox 360 wasn't able to play HD DVDs. Yeah, you had to buy a completely separate device and attach that to your Xbox 360 to play that format. Now, the PlayStation 3 could play Blu-rays from the get-go, but nope, not the Xbox. And from what I can tell, the PS3 natively playing Blu-rays is probably one of the reasons why it won out in the end over HD DVD. But I do like the history behind this, and I love the design of the HD DVD drive. It's designed very much like the fat Xbox 360, but it's like a tiny one. It's like, don't ever talk to me or my son ever again. And I imagine people would just take this and go boop right on top of there. This kind of feels like a Sega Tower of Power moment or something. So I'm going to be testing this thing out today. But unfortunately, I'm not going to be using this Xbox for it. And well, that's because, uh... Yeah, there's no HDMI on this one. And I don't really have a good hookup in order to do HD like component. I don't even wanna, I don't even, I don't wanna mess with that. And given that, you know, the word HD is in the name, I might as well try to do it on an Xbox that can natively output HD over HDMI. And unfortunately that Xbox is the only one that's fat and in this color that isn't red ringed. So uh, we'll at least keep the color. But yeah, this is the uh, slim variant of the Xbox 360, the one that came after the fat and doesn't really have as many red ring problems. So yeah, let me get the, uh, the stuff for this. What I would love to get is, ooh, Sony, get out of here. What I would love to get is an Xbox 360 fat that has blades on it, cause oh man, I wanna go back. We're gonna put the Xbox over here and the screen over here. And we'll put the little DVD guy right here. So these particular things aren't really that expensive, but a problem that you'll find is that not a lot of them have the power cable that goes with it. And the power cable that came with it isn't exactly a very easy to get thing, or something you're likely to have in your collection and hoard of various wall adapters from throughout the years. Yeah, it's got this jack right here, which isn't kind of like a normal barrel one. Granted, at least we know what the voltage and amperage is. It is 12 volts and two amps. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it doesn't even show us what the polarity is. So I found one on Amazon I think works. I hope it works. And it's kind of hard to see with all the reflections, but this one is in fact 12 volts and two amps. And yes, if you're wondering, positive center. Actually, I'm really curious what the diameter of this thing is. So let's see here. All right, so the outside is 4.9 and the inside I guess is like 3.7. I don't know, I could be measuring the inside wrong, but if you know the dimensions of this barrel jack, post it in the comments below. I'll also probably post a link on this one, so if it does work, and people are interested in these, they can get them. Now another interesting thing about these is apparently they also had onboard storage, so you could attach some peripherals and stuff. Supposedly you could like save data to this thing. I also hear that that NAND might be going bad, so we'll see if this thing even works. And this thing connects to the Xbox 360 over a USB-A to mini USB cord. All right, now all I need is a controller. We're going with the Afterglow one this time around. Well, let's see if it works. Ooh, there's a little green light right here. I guess this adapter works, because yeah, this didn't light up green before. Well, let's open this sealed copy of sneakers and see if this thing can play HD DVDs. Let's also see if this disc even still works. Oh, there's a little note. In order to take advantage of newly available features, your player needs to be updated. Yeah, we're not updating this. Ooh, Tokyo Drift. I should get that on HD DVD. That'd be funny to have. Well, it sure looks like a disc. Let's see if eject works. And it doesn't. Okay, you're going back in here for now. I want to poke this, but I'm using a paperclip this time. I ain't about to lose another SIM card bit. Well, it sure needs some help. I don't like how they're looking at me. You know, I'm now thinking, can this be even be played on this version of the dashboard? Cause I'm pretty sure if I hit open tray, it's gonna open this tray. Yep. Well, I can at least check the storage probably. Oh yeah, okay, it can see it. Ooh, what's on here? Unknown titles. Well, the storage is still there. All right, uh, well, I guess, do I go to movies? Oh, there we go, HD DVD. Oh wow, it actually works. And this is the part where I mute it all so I don't get copyright struck. Aw oh, yeah, there, uh, okay, you can go away now. HD DVD. Oh, here we go, buddy. And you can use the controller in order to go up and down. That's pretty neat. Well, the resolution's really good. It's definitely an HD format. Man, remember when stuff had extras? Well, we know that works, but can it play DVDs? I mean, the original Xbox 360 can play DVDs, but I wanna know if this can. Could it be totally useless and really dumb? Also, glad to see that this actually does still work. Some of these HD DVDs actually have a uh, disc rotted. 
I think a lot of the Warner Brother ones done, but this was done by Universal. Anyway, let's see if dang old Hank here works. Whoa! Oh yeah, it's pulling it up. And the UI of the play pause is actually a little bit different. I kind of wish I had another HD DVD to try with because I wonder if the play pause was customized depending on the menu. Hey Hank, well, glad to see that this also works with DVDs. Well, now I know this thing works, but there's a couple more things I want to do before I wrap up this video. I want to see what happens when we put in a couple of discs so that this thing isn't actually expecting. First, I want to see what happens when we put an audio CD in it. Oh, hey Hank, how's it going? Can't read this disc. Ah, if this is a game CD or data disc, place it inside your Xbox 360 disc tray. So it looks like this thing can only read DVDs and HD DVDs. Well, I guess that makes sense. I mean, I was gonna put the PC version of Quake in there and then also Halo 3. Well, I guess that figures that out. But supposedly this thing could also be just used as a normal data disk drive on a computer. So let me see if I can get that working. All right, got the e-wastelander laptop here. So let's see what happens when I plug this in. This thing's also running Kubuntu. So uh, we'll, <laughs> I don't know if it needs special drivers. I hope not. Well, the best way to start is probably gonna do with a DVD. Back in you go, Hank. Oh! Oh, it found it immediately! Removable disc, King of the Hill! Wait, does this mean I could just play it off of the HD DVD drive? Oh, it's trying. It's making a lot of noises. It kind of seems like it's looping. Okay, it's it kind of got there, but I hope it didn't just scratch the ever-living heck out of my disc. Ooh, and now it's not ejecting. Maybe I need to mount it? Okay, it's mounted now. Now let's try it. No, oh, it doesn't seem like it wants to play. Okay, well, at least I was able to get to eject that way. Well, it didn't want to play DVDs, so I don't have much faith in HD DVDs. It does see it, though. Okay, let's mount. I will be very surprised if this works. Oh, yeah, disc collection, DVD, Blu-ray, audio CD. Okay, yeah, VLC is not going to be able to play an HD DVD. Well, I mean, which makes sense, but also, why would you want to? If you want to play an HD DVD, just get one of these in Xbox 360. Can this be used for audio CDs, though? Yeah, it can, it can read this. It's like showing me everything on this CD. What happens when I open it in VLC? Okay, it's not a good sign that it's not able to play it. Let's see if I can at least take one of these files off of here and play that in VLC. Alright, Snake Eater. We'll throw that into music. Can you copy? Doesn't really look like it. Well, it was having trouble with an audio CD, so I don't know how well it's going to handle a data CD. Wait, where's my copy of Quake? Where'd my copy of Quake go? Found it, right, I forgot, I put it in my CD player. Cause yeah, if you take the game CD of Quake 1 and put it in a CD player, as long as you skip track 1, you can listen to all the soundtrack stuff in it. Yep, that is Quake all right. Let me see if I can copy the setup file to my desktop. Oh! Yeah, what about the Zion I file? Yeah, copy that too. Yep, that's, those are files. Yep, that works. Okay, that has me wondering now if that other CD was just kind of like a weird data CD or something. So let's try a Meteora. Yeah, now it's having trouble copying the WAV file over. I wonder if it's like a size thing. So let's try doing just num MP3. Oh, there we go, it's copying and it's very slow. Well, that just finished and it took this long for a three megabyte MP3 file. Now the question is, did it even work? Okay, yep, there's num. Okay, I can in fact confirm that yes, this did copy over and it did work. Would I recommend using this in order to transfer data? No, but hey, it's neat that it can do it. I don't know, maybe I'm missing some drivers or something that can make it go along a little bit faster, but I mean, it's also going over a mini USB cable, so yeah. But I think I've looked at this enough. If you have any tips of what I could be doing in order to make this more smoothly, or if you have any fun facts about these particular things, let me know in the comments because I'd be interested in knowing more. I always love these old little peripherals, especially dead media. But I'll definitely put a link in where I got this particular wall adapter because if you're missing one of those, you can at least try to get a working one. But that's gonna be it for now. So long, y'all.